a Gatorade Fit for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Good morning. Today's video is going to be fitness health related. The first thing that I need to do is take this girl on a WALK because it's been really hot this past week and and the earlier you do it, the better. Here's my dog walking look. <laughs> it's like way too cute, but it's fine. I've been really into unitards, one pieces, body suits. I wanna cover up most of my arms and shoulders from the sun with this button down. Went with a black sock, a little different than my usual way. Today's dog walk is gonna be a little bit more intense because we are in fact hiking. What's in my hiking tote? Obviously my phone, got some headphones. This is a water dispensing dog bowl that my brother gifted me last Christmas. And then obviously I need to take care of myself because hydration is so important when it comes to being active, especially if you're going outside in the sun and the heat, avoiding dehydration and replenishing your body with electrolytes. We know this. I'm packing some Gatorade Fit with me this is in the flavor watermelon strawberry. Gatorade Fit is the newest electrolyte beverage from Gatorade. It was literally designed for the active consumer who's looking for that healthy, real hydration. That means we have no added sugar. We have no artificial sweeteners or flavors, no added colors. Should we go? Yeah, you wanna go? You wanna go? Look at this, look at. <laughs> I literally cannot get over how good this tastes. And I say that because you would think that the taste would be compromised because of the no added sugars, the no artificial sweeteners, all that stuff. For any of you guys that enjoy flavored beverages while working out, like there is no sacrifice happening. For those that want the straight facts, they want the dirty deets. Each of these bottles contains anywhere from 10 to 15 calories, three grams of carbs per serving. I thought this was very cool. Their electrolytes come from watermelon and sea salt. Gatorade Fits is also an excellent source of antioxidant vitamins A and C. It delivers 100% of the daily value. Obviously, it doesn't only come in the watermelon strawberry flavor, which is the one I'm drinking today. They also have tropical mango, citrus berry, cherry lime, and tangerine orange. If any of you wanna learn more about Gatorade Fit, you can visit Gatorade.com. I will, of course, have all of the links in the description box. But yeah, it's available nationwide where Gatorade is sold. In my book, having a grounding morning is one of the best ways to have a mentally and physically health conscious day. Find a quiet room with no distractions, put your phone away. You can play with different senses when you're trying to relax. So whether that's putting on some spa music, light a candle, light some incense, maybe whip out those essential oils. Let this moment be whatever you want it to be. That can be in the form of meditation, doing a low impact workout, even just stretching your body, the goal is to start your day connected with yourself from a calm and confident place versus a reactive and distracted place. My version of today's grounding morning, grounding moment. I did a quick little five minute meditation because that's as long as I can do right now. <laughs> My patience has been so short. I love using one of those back foam rollers. I swear every time I lay on top of it, the upper part of my back like cracks in five places, <laughs> which makes me think, oh boy, I do not have great posture. I did that and then I did a quick 10 minute arm workout using like one pound ankle weights on my palms. But I really enjoy tackling different parts of the body because I'm not really good at keeping track of how often I'm working out, how often I'm giving myself rest days. So when I can target different areas of my body, then I know I'm giving those muscles a rest since I'm not doing like a, an intense full body workout every single day. So I just did a quick little 10 minute arm situation. Thank <laughs> you. 
strawberry and shortcake croissant pretty good as I'm about to film a health and wellness fitness related q and I asked you guys to send in some questions I feel like we haven't done a focused themed q and in a while you guys sent in some wonderful questions so let's jump into them what are some healthy breakfast ideas <laughs> Probably not a strawberry shortcake croissant. Here's the thing. I feel like the points that I try to hit in the morning are, um, is this filling? Is this gonna give me energy? So I like to look at things that have lots of carbs and lots of healthy fats. As long as it doesn't have too much sugar. I know it's basic, but avocado toast. I love avocado toast. I will get it somewhere. I will make it at home. It's so easy to make. I drown it in olive oil. I am, I love a breakfast burrito. Rice, beans, avocado, potato. I mean, it depends on what kind of burrito you're doing, but you know, potatoes, vegetables, some sort of protein. The other breakfast I have a lot is just making like a super loaded oatmeal. So having peanut butter in there, maple syrup, lots of berries, nuts. My brother asks, what's your average daily diet like or what are staples in the grocery list? Well, every day is so different, so I genuinely don't feel like I can answer that but I do love the second question because I definitely have some go-to's so I'm gonna see how fast I can just list them off avocados always bananas always baby spinach almond or oat milk some sort of milk alternative I love coconut yogurts granola nuts love pecans spicy arrabbiata sauce any sort of pasta shape any sort of pasta dish it's our favorite sauce we always have it in stock in our fridge soups I love soups they're so easy to heat up and eat white rice tartine French country bread that is my bread of choice and I will not settle for anything less lots of berries always strawberries blueberries raspberries, blackberries. They're just so easy to throw into things. I'd say those are the basics. How to encourage yourself to stay on track. This can be very tricky and I have found the troublesome area is week two of a new habit or a new exercise routine because the first week you're all excited, you're feeling motivated, but it's really like day eight when it starts to feel boring, repetitive. You can find any sort of reason or excuse to not put in the time to continue to work out. So I feel like week two is what you need to mentally be prepared for and the way you can encourage yourself to push through that I would say, I you know everyone says it, but having an accountability partner, having someone to do these workouts with or having someone to quote unquote like report back to and be like, I did it. Just because it's really hard to encourage yourself. I think we as humans thrive in community and working together. I think we all just do better together. It's okay to have that approach for your own personal fitness journey. Your take on celery juice. You know, I've been there, I've done it. I've shown you guys me doing it. And my concluding thoughts about celery juice is that it is just not worth the time, not worth the money if you're buying it. I'm sure some of the things that they claim celery juice does for you is true, but it's just like not enjoyable. Do you ever lose motivation fitness wise? Of course, oh my gosh. I go through periods of this every month, every week. <laughs> it is really hard to be consistent with something when life for all of us is all over the place. The key is to not beat yourself up about it because fitness is not something that is temporary. It's a part of your life. It's a lifestyle. It is the rest of your life. It impacts your health. I just don't think there should be any sort of end goal or timeline surrounding fitness. I don't know if that makes any sense. Do you eat sweets every day? I thought this was a really important question to answer because my answer to that is yes. Back in the day when I had 
an entirely different relationship with food. I saw sweets and my relationship to sweets was very addictive, but also just very like restrictive and bad and negative. And I wouldn't let myself have any and then I would binge because my body was craving it. And I think when you find that balance of allowing yourself to satisfy your appetite and your taste buds, that's when you really get to listen to your body because I catch myself having moments these days where someone will be having like, let's say ice cream or something. Phineas will have ice cream and we're watching a movie and he's like, do you want some? And I'm like, I don't. And I've, I have never, I've never been like that ever my entire life. Like I was always the one that was like, salivating at the thought of ice cream. And I think because I feel like I'm filling that cup up every single day, like we've got so much dark chocolate in our house, we've always got ice cream, we've always got cones ready for ice cream. There's something about having it and knowing that I have access to it that makes me feel like I don't have to go overboard. Letting go of that like restrictive behavior because that is all like what we're talking about. This is a lifestyle, this is the rest of your life. This isn't temporary. It's important to treat yourself and and indulge in foods that taste good to you. So it's like, how can I do this and just not feel bad about it, you know? Because I want this to be a part of my life. I want this to be something that I can enjoy whenever I want and not feel like, oh no, I'm gonna have to punish myself tomorrow. Way easier said than done for sure. So I feel you if any of you guys are in that sort of routine of feeling sort of controlled by sugar. How can you simply just start? I know once I start, I will do great. Just the first hurdle. I think a great way to push yourself to start is just to sit down and ask yourself why you want to start, getting really clear with your intentions. It shouldn't be for anyone but you. Get clear with your intentions and allow those to be your motivators. And if you need to write those intentions down and like stick it on your door or something, tackle it from a really gentle approach and like come back to the basics. You know what I mean? Like take the vanity away from it and just remember that making those little changes, I'm not talking like you need to be perfect, making these little changes and habits are going to impact the rest of your life. And it should be about that. It should be about wanting to take care of this body that we've been given. How to get over being nervous about going to the gym. I had a membership back in my hometown. I've had, I think, two out here in Los Angeles. And I will say for the most part, all gyms have the same energy. You feel like everyone's watching you. You feel like everyone knows what they're doing besides you. You're the only one that's like, where are the free weights? Where am I supposed to be doing the free weight exercises? Go with a friend, at least for your first time so that you have someone to navigate the space with. Removing the attention off of yourself I think is really important because it's only self-destructive and you just get way too in your head. And if you don't have a friend to go to a gym with, I would say go in with a plan. Allow yourself to be focused on what you wanna get done. All right, I'm gonna do 30 minutes on the treadmill on incline 12 speed three, 12, 330, that's like the workout that everyone loves doing. I think pulling up videos on your phone is a great way to feel zoned in and in your own world and not feeling like, oh my God, everyone is watching me. And also if you're like on your phone, you've got headphones in, you're doing a whole planned workout, no one's gonna bother you. They're seeing that you're doing your thing. Give us your posture recommendations. I've said this before and it's the best thing I've ever heard, but when you're walking or you're sitting, and I've, I've not been doing it while filming, so now I'm aware, is just making sure that the top of your head is the very highest it can be. Focusing less on like having your shoulders back and, and pushed back and all this stuff. Like just think about if someone had like a string attached to your head and they're just pulling you up, everything else will fall into place. What are your current goals? Well, my current goals is that I really want to feel stronger. My motivation in working out now is just wanting to tone up, wanting to shred. <laughs> I'm not trying to bulk up by any means, but I know that I never will because I only go as high as one pound weights. But don't be fooled because you can really tone and shred your body with literally no weights at all, just your body weights. Listen, lots of reps, okay? Lots and lots of reps. Thank you guys for all of the lovely questions. If there's something you feel I did not answer, you can ask it in the comment section below. Don't mind the dirty socks. I'm sure some of you guys are freaking out, but I am just hanging out with my feet up.
This is a great way to end your day for blood flow, circulation, anti-inflammatory benefits, especially on a day when you've just been on your feet a bunch. At the very least, it feels very, very relaxing, like the ultimate rest for the limbs that you put all of your weight on every day. Oh my gosh. Okay, two things. First thing, my favorite Gatorade Fit flavor has got to be tropical mango. I'm a sucker for mango. I think it's my favorite fruit, like a ripe mango. We're getting off topic now. Some days have passed since this footage. Um, I've just been editing the video you guys are watching and I am cramming in so much stuff in one day because I'm traveling tomorrow. I'm gonna go to Europe for a week. Beyond living an active lifestyle, even if you just have days where you feel like you've got a million things you need to get done, you're running around trying to get everything done in time and it can be hard to stay hydrated and to remember to hydrate yourself um and so i just feel like on days specifically like today i love to have electrolytes because it's a great way to immediately get your body hydrated so i've been a little gatorade fit gal today as i have been packing and editing and filming some remaining clips and i'm trying to clean the house too because i hate arriving to like a messy house you know what i mean i was facetiming phineas about these drinks because because he loves Gatorade. I feel like these are way up his alley, so we'll see if there's any left when he gets home from tour. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you for a new one very soon, and thanks to Gatorade Fit for sponsoring this video. Bye. <laughs>